Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And right now, I want to talk to you about how to create branches in GitLab, and specifically in the GitLab GUI, and then actually go to the client and bring those branches in. In another tutorial, I'll actually show you how to create branches on the client using the terminal and then push them up to GitLab, so sort of do the opposite thing. But in this one, I want to show you how to use GitLab, the user administrative console, the comes through the browser to create branches, even protect them, and then have the client pull them down to their local machine. All things start by signing into the GitLab Administrative Console, which is what I'm going to do right now. I've got root and password there. And look at that. It's got my GitLab Made Easy project, and I've got my repository link over here. And if I click on branches, you'll notice that I've only got one branch. I've got that master branch right there. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually create a new branch. I'm thinking of doing some Git flow development, and that means not only having a master branch, but also having a hotfix branch. Back to branches, I'm going to create another branch, and I'm going to call that the develop branch. I don't like the name develop. I almost want it to be development, but that's certainly the standard vernacular for doing Git flow. And I'm also going to create, what did I create already? I've created the develop and hotfix. I guess I need the release branch. And after that, I guess the final branch that you want to create if you're doing Git flow is the develop branch. We've got develop, hotfix, master, release. What am I forgetting? No, I think that's it. <laughs> the last one is the feature branch. And of course, uh, the feature branch is something that the developers will create. But anyway, so I've got these one, two, three, four branches right here. Now, these are Git flow branches. You probably don't want these branches to be deleted. So one of the things you can do is protect them. And so if you go into settings, take a look at the repository link, you notice there's an option here to create some protected branches. And so you come down here and you can say, you know what, for that develop branch, I only want who should go into that. I only want maintainers to be able to, to work on that branch, so I'm now going to protect that branch. And I can do the same with hotfix. Maybe do the same thing with release. And now I've protected these branches so that people can't go in and just push to them or delete them or, or do any bad things to these key branches that are essential for my, my Git flow uh, workflow for my software development. But anyways, that's basically how you go in and create branches with GitLab and even protect branches with GitLab. Now you can see I've got them right here, release, master, hotfix, and develop. Now, of course, this is just on the server, to be functional, what you really need to do is you need to go onto your client machine and have your client machine pull so that they can actually bring those different branches down to their own local machine. So I've opened up a terminal here, and you can see I've got a folder called GitLab Made Easy. I've done a clone of that in an earlier exercise. There we are, navigating into that folder, and you can see one, two, three, four files in there. Um, now, if I do a git fetch, notice that it brings these one, two, three new branches in here. If I do a git branch dash a, you can see that it'll list everything that I've got in total, including master. And from this point, if I want to actually switch into a, a branch, I can, can do that. So I can do git checkout develop. And now I'm on the develop branch. And you can see right there with the git status command, it says you are on branch develop. And from that point, I can actually even go in and you know maybe create a new branch, do some work, push back up to the server. But that gives you a basic idea right there of how you can go in and create branches using GitLab and how you can go onto the client machine and pull those branches down to your, your client client workstations so that your developers can start working on those branches as well. 
And there you go. That's how easy it is to create branches in GitLab using the GitLab Administrative Online Console. Now, if you want to learn more, head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of tutorials on Git. We've got lots of tutorials on GitLab. We've actually got a whole series of tutorials that takes you to this one and follows off from here. And of course, we've got full server-side coverage of everything from Java to JavaScript to modern enterprise frameworks. So head over to the server-side, check some of that stuff out, and please follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.